Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for the 2020 York Conference of High School Academic Awards Ceremony. You could have tuned in to anything this evening and you chose us. Over the past two months, we've all had to make choices that were atypical. As a school, we had to decide what school would look like during this closure. Some of the decisions have been harder than others. At YCHS, we decided to base our decisions on the values that we've established over the last several years. Our values are children, teaching and learning, family, and community. We've worked to continue to develop the whole child into the unique person that we believe they were created to be. We've had to be creative in how we uh, continue the process of teaching and learning in order to do this. We've continued to lean into our feeling of family throughout this closure while working diligently to serve the community through uh, the process of serving necessary meals and other essentials. I'd like to take this time to thank all of you for your support that I've felt during these difficult circumstances. I know there have been lots of questions, which is understandable. We're all experiencing something new. Our community has been so understanding and so flexible. I've often said that our people are our greatest strength. Our district's motto is connected as one, and this has never been more true than over the past two months. Thank you for the role that you've played as students, as parents, and as teachers. It hasn't been easy, but you've gotten it done anyway. Thank you for entrusting us with your child's education and with their well-being. We promise to continue to do all that we can to continue looking after our children's best interests here at York Conference of High School. And now, on to the awards. I'm excited to recognize so many of our students tonight for the outstanding work that they've done this year. The 2020 school year has been a year full of challenges. It's also been a year of amazing successes. We've experienced tremendous heartache, and we've also been overwhelmed with joy. Through it all, the YCHS family continues to press forward. By focusing on developing the whole child and by working with passion, energy, and a caring spirit, our teachers are helping our students be competitive on a state and global scale. The students receiving awards tonight are working towards being college and career ready. Daily, they're receiving the world-class knowledge, technical skills, and life skills that they need for the 21st century. Before we begin tonight's awards presentation, would you join me in thanking all of our teachers for the work they do each day to prepare our children? Thank you. As we begin, just let me say that in a ceremony such as this, inevitably we will make a mistake or we'll leave someone out. I'd like to apologize in advance, and I thank you for your understanding. And now, I'd like to begin tonight's awards presentation by honoring a very special YCHS teacher. I have the honor this evening of recognizing Ms. Sharon Morrison as the 2020 YCHS Teacher of the Year. Ms. Morrison has taught math at YCHS for the past five years. You will not find a more caring or devoted teacher than Ms. Morrison. She works tirelessly to ensure each individual student experiences success in learning in an environment that fosters creativity, innovation, and engagement through her use of best practice strategies. Sharon is an advocate for her students, a great teammate, and an excellent educator. I'm so proud to have Sharon Morrison as a part of the YCHS family, and I'm very proud for her to represent us as our 2020 Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Sharon Morrison, and well-deserved. At this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Ms. Donna Ferris, who will begin tonight's awards presentations with the recognition of our junior marshals. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Donna Ferris. Students are selected for junior marshal honors if at the end of the first semester of their junior year, they are one of the top 25 students in the junior class. Junior marshals typically serve at functions like this awards program, baccalaureate, and graduation. Unfortunately, this year, they will not be able to fill those roles. However, we would like to recognize their accomplishments. The 2020 junior marshals are Taylor Andrews, Jules Black, Raven Gary, Samantha Justice, William Rampey, Hannah Ash, Emily Breesley, Casey Lou Hall, Hannah Lane, Maggie Ramsey, Madison Baker, Rose Broadwell, Talia Hayes, Vanessa Martinez, Shelby Tuthero, Karen Bennett, Addison Cena, 
Macy Ziegler, Katherine McDaniel, Kayla Bennett, McKenna Dover, Carly Jackson, Bowen Turner, Fabiana Mendoza, Maria Mercedes Ivy. The Wilbert and Zora Holmes Scholarship was established to recognize a graduating senior from York Comprehensive High School who was pursuing a degree in education and has shown academic achievement, school and community involvement, and financial need. Mr. and Ms. Holmes were longtime educators in York School District 1. He retired as principal from York Junior High and she was a math teacher at YCHS. The 2020 scholarship recipient is Mallory Ferris. Congratulations, Mallory. The Jennifer Lynn Bradley Memorial Scholarship is in memory of a YCHS graduate. Jennifer was killed in a tragic automobile accident in 1999 while attending Winthrop University and majoring in education. The Bradley family established a scholarship in 2002 to help other YCHS students carry out Jennifer's dream of teaching and nurturing young people. This year's recipient is Rosie McCarter. Congratulations, Rosie. The Ann Latham Memorial Education Scholarship is in memory of a lifelong York School District educator. Ms. Latham was an advocate for youth and lifelong learning in YSD 1 for many years. This is the first year for this scholarship and we are pleased to present this to Alex Constantine. Congratulations, Alex. At this time, we will begin our academic awards, beginning with our English department, presented by Assistant Principal, Ms. Kelly Watson. I will now begin presenting the awards for the English department. The following students are being recognized for their achievement. Representing English One, Sienna Nance. CP English 1, Ariana Arroyo Mancera. Honors English 1, Kendrick Randall. English 2, Elijah Klontz. CP English 2, Madison Griffin. Honors English 2, Bailey Lockwood. English 3, McClavion McCleave. CP English 3, Daniel Gerhard. Honors English 3, Zoe Horak. English 4, Brandon French. CP English 4, Megan Pritchard. Honors English 4, Hannah Lane. Advanced Placement English, Shelby Spencer. Creative Writing, Emma Jeremko. Broadcast Journalism, Jeremiah King. Next, we will have our World Language Awards, which will be moderated by Assistant Principal, Ms. Lavanya Johnson-Davis. YCHS offers language studies in French and Spanish. The following is a list of students that will be recognized for their achievements in world languages. Spanish 1, first semester, Shemaya Thompson. Spanish 1, second semester, Musana 
Al Shaman. Spanish two, first semester, Isabella Gaither. Spanish two, second semester, Chance Lane. Spanish three, first semester, McKenna Dover. Spanish three, second semester, Christopher Swininger. Spanish four, first semester, Victoria Cami Sanders. Spanish four, second semester, Brianna Inman. AP Spanish, Pearson Roby. Outstanding senior Spanish student, Alexander Constantine. French one, first semester, Allison Canuck. French one, second semester, Jasmine Mendoza. French two, first semester, Noel Sykes. French three, second semester, Zaria Wallace. We will now present the math awards. Algebra 1 CP, Moses Rodriguez. Algebra 1 CP, second semester, Elizabeth Ruby. Algebra 1 Honors, first semester, Darius Gabrinas. Algebra 2, first semester, Gavin Atwood. Algebra 2 Honors, first semester, Deasia White. Algebra 2 Honors, second semester, Brianna Hale. Algebra 2 CP, first semester, Kaylee Sessoms. Algebra 2 CP, second semester, Mackenzie Pless. Algebra 3, second semester, Dequatia Brown. AP Calculus AB, second semester, Fabiana Mendoza. AP Math Lab AB, first semester, Fabiana Mendoza. Calculus Honors, second semester, Karen Bennett. Dual Enrollment, College Skills, second semester, Elena Presslar. Foundations in Algebra, first semester, Paul McAllister. Foundations in Algebra, second semester, Olivia Wallace. Geometry, first semester, Caleb Sexton. Geometry, second semester, Jordan Ellis. Geometry, CP, first semester, Chase Eddington. Geometry, CP, Second semester, David Tripp. Geometry Honors, first semester, Mark Grachinko. Geometry Honors, second semester, Deasia White.
Intermediate Algebra, first semester, Sunny Musquea. Intermediate Algebra, second semester, Paul McAllister. Math 120, dual enrollment, first semester, Sarah Spencer. Math 110, dual enrollment, first semester, Shelby Spencer. Math 120, dual enrollment, second semester, Zaria Wallace. Mu Alpha Theta Award, first semester, Shelby Spencer. Mu Alpha Theta Award, second semester, Sarah Spencer. Precalculus CP, first semester, Marie Durflinger. Precalculus CP, Second semester, Jasmine Colting. Precalculus honors, first semester, Joshua Taylor. Precalculus honors, second semester, Kylie Towery. Probability and statistics, CP. First semester, Selena McMahon. Probability and Statistics CP. Second semester, Jacob Morin. And now to the Social Studies Awards. We will begin the Social Studies Awards this evening by recognizing students who earned a perfect score on their U.S. History end of course test. The following students made a 100 on their U.S. History end of course exam. Peyton Reel, Eric Ellswick, Jacob Rodriguez, Kylie O'Mara, Sophie Smiley, Chase Linwood, Nakia White, Caleb Smith, Colin Clinton, Austin Turley, Brianna Inman, and Megan Ashley. Congratulations students on a perfect score on the U.S. History end of, end of course test. Next, we'll move on to our Social Studies Department Awards. First, the American Government Second Semester Award goes to Alan Burns. The AP Human Geography Second Semester Award goes to Joshua Taylor. The AP U.S. History Female Award goes to Hannah Lane. The AP U.S. History Male Award goes to Bowen Turner. The First Semester Civics Award goes to Gage Runyon. The First Semester Economics Award goes to Charm Robinson. The Second Semester Economics Award goes to Aniston Marie Abshire. The Freshman Early College Award for Government Economics goes to DeAsia White. The First Semester Honors Economics Award goes to Alex Constantine. The Second Semester Honors Economics Award goes to Natalie Ferris. The First Semester Honors Government Award goes to Karina Castro Gomez. Second Semester Honors Government Award goes to Henry Niehaus. Honors U.S. History for First Semester goes to Casey Lou Hall. The Second Semester Honors U.S. History Award goes to Aaron Parker. The First Semester Honors World History Award goes to Elizabeth Ruby. The Second Semester Honors World History Award goes to Allison Knuff. First Semester Law Education Award goes to Noelle Sykes. The Second Semester Law Education Award goes to Hannah Marie Crail. The First Semester Political Science Award goes to Ashley Lynn. 
The first semester psychology award goes to Reagan Miller. The second semester psychology award goes to Anne Marie Lardieri. The first semester sociology award goes to Megan Pritchard. The second semester sociology award goes to Lauren Childers. The first semester U.S. history award goes to Daniel Good. The second semester U.S. History Award goes to Jeffrey Dixon. The first semester World Geography Award goes to Jacob Roberts. The first semester World Geography Award goes to Hunter Smoke. The first semester World Geography Award goes to Mackenzie Pless. The first semester World Geography Award goes to Brandon Thomas. The second semester World Geography Award goes to Emily Dye. Next, we will have our Physical Education Awards, moderated by Ms. Kelly Watson. PE1, first semester, Mark Grichenko. PE1, second semester, Addison Black. PE1, second semester, Andrew Howell. PE1, wait. Second semester, Zach Moss. PE1 Waits, second semester, AJ McKinley. PE2, first semester, Kyle Hall. PE2, second semester, Sunny Mesquea. PE2 Waits. First semester, Clay Crow. PE2 Waits, second semester, Jacob Thompson. PE3, first semester, Jeffrey Luke Dixon. PE3, second semester, Zachary Mazeppa. PE3 Waits, first semester, Jordan Burris. PE3 Waits, second semester, Weston Hance. PE4, first semester, Bryson Hall. PE4, second semester, George Orr. PE4 Waits, first semester, Colby Clayton. PE4 Waits, second semester, Chloe Howell. Next, we will have the Science Awards. Students receiving recognition in science are as follows. CP Chemistry, first semester, Aaliyah Rainey. CP Chemistry, second semester, Adian Stout. Honors Physics, first semester, Antonella Mendoza. Honors Physics, second semester, McKenna Dover. Integrated Science, first semester, Zachary Allman. Integrated Science, second semester, Cassie Crisp. Biology, CP, first semester, Casey Romero. Biology, CP, second semester, Chase Eddington. Honors Biology, first semester, Brianna Hale. Honors Biology, second semester, Chantel Chisholm. Honors Biology, second semester, DeAsia White. Biology EOC, perfect score of 100, Casey Romero. Chemistry CP, first semester, Aaliyah Rainey. Chemistry CP, Second semester, 
Adian Stout. Honors Chemistry, first semester, Marie Durfinger. Honors Chemistry, second semester, Tony Lynn. Anatomy, Physiology, CP, first semester, Tomisha Lyon. Anatomy, Physiology, CP, second semester, Caleb Adkins. Honors Anatomy, Physiology, first semester, Macy Delaney. Honors Anatomy, Physiology, second semester, Jaden Ricks. Forensic Science, first semester, Paige Morose. Forensic Science, second semester, Megan Ashley. Earth Science, first semester, Gwendolyn Menu. Earth Science, second semester, Abby Bond. Environmental Science, first semester, Zachary Leslie. Environmental Science, second semester, Mackenzie Terrell. Biology 101, 102, highest average overall, Taylor Andrews. Biology Anatomy, 210, Shelby Spencer. We will now present the individual awards, starting with Ms. Don Ferris. We will now present the individual awards, first being moderated by Donna Ferris, Assistant Principal. Each year, the American Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary choose students to attend South Carolina Boys State and Girls State programs during the summer after their junior year. Students are nominated by the faculty with interviews and final selection made by the American Legion and Auxiliary members. Students attend the week-long program to participate in mock state and federal government processes and to hone their leadership skills. Congratulations to these seniors who attended Boys State and Girls State last summer. Girls State, Lauren Childers, Joanna Howell, Kirsten McFadden. Boys State, Gunnar Black, Ashton Shannon, Coleman Cox, Jackson Williams, Brandon Burns, Colin Clinton, Henry Niehaus, Jeremiah King. Each year, outstanding juniors are recognized for their academic achievement through junior scholar programs. Colleges throughout the state recognize students based on class rank and test scores. The following are Coker Scholars. Bowen Turner, Casey Lou Hall, Carly Jackson, Katherine McDaniel, Christopher Swininger, Macy Ziegler, Dylan Wyatt, Madison Baker, Fabiana Mendoza, Maggie Ramsey, Hannah Lane, Maria Ivy, Jacob Dixon, Rose Broadwell, Jaden Ricks, Taylor Andrews, Jules Black, William Rampey, William Hare. The following are Columbia Scholars. Aaliyah Rainey, Caitlin McCarter, Anna Childers, Kiana Dodge, Emily Crawford, Macy Delaney, Caitlin McIntosh, Sierra Cruz, Gabriella Petty, Madeline 
Ray. Gabrielle Chris. Raven Gary. Haley Crowley. Reagan Miller. Jennifer Raglan. Sarah Deese. Jesse McAllister. Camilla Anquino Ventura. Luz Colorida Amescas. The following are Converse scholars. Addison Cena. Nicholas Zagara. Anderson Fulk. Seth Petty. Camilla Anquino Ventura. Shelby Tothero. Jennifer Raglan. Skylar Balcom. Kayla Bennett. Tyrone Mackey. The following are Erskine scholars. Bowen Turner. Taylor Andrews. Christopher Swininger. William Rampey. Hannah Lane. William Hare. Madison Baker. The following are Furman scholars. Bowen Turner. Hannah Lane. Christopher Swininger. William Rampey. The following are Lander scholars. Fabiana Mendoza. Catherine McDaniel. Hannah Ash. McKenna Dover. Jules Black. Rose Broadwell, Casey Lou Hall, Samantha Justice, Karen Bennett, Vanessa Martinez. The following are USC Upstate Scholars. Chloe Howell, Jules Black, Fabiana Mendoza, Katherine McDaniel, Jacob Dixon. Um, I'd like to introduce Kelly Watson as she presents more individual awards. Each year, more than two million students take the SAT and or ACT college admissions exams. York Comprehensive High School is proud of the students in the class of 2020 who have achieved at the following levels. The platinum level recipients earned a SAT score of 1500 or above or an ACT score of 31 or above. At this time, we would like to recognize Colin Clinton, Brianna Inman, and Sarah Spencer. The gold level recipients earned a SAT score of 1300 to 1499 or an ACT score of 29 to 31. The following students include Kaylin Gabrinas, Shelby Spencer, Colin Clinton, Austin Turley, William Boggs, and Jackson Williams. The silver level recipients earned an SAT score of 1200 to 1299 or an ACT score of 27 to 28. Those students include Adam Bachman, Lauren Childers, William Sayers, David Chisholm III, Aaron Durflinger, Courtney Gross, Gabriel Cato, Jacob Rodriguez, Ashton Shannon, Sophie Smiley, Megan Neff, Sarah Spencer, 
Liza Tolson, and Caroline Ziegler. The bronze level recipients earned a SAT score of 1100 to 1199 or an ACT score of 24 to 26. Those students include Mackenzie Applegate, William Boggs, Jeremy Childers, Coleman Cox, Chloe Gibson, Courtney Gross, Alexander Constantine, Cassidy Hill, Ashley Lynn, Destiny Love, Lamar Pettis Jr., Peyton Real, Esmeralda Rosales, Abigail Arnold, Megan Ashley, Christopher Brooks, Lauren Childers, Katherine Cofield, Beck Johnston, Natalie Ferris, Tristan Gray, Madeline Hagee, Bryson Hall, Tristan Hicks, Jana Thompson, Brianna Slaughter, Caleb Smith, Victoria Smith, Jeremy Steele, Zaria Wallace, William Sayers, Eric Ellswick, Ashton Shannon, Bryson Hall, Marianne Cool Tolatino. Each teacher was asked to nominate one student whom they felt deserved recognition for the President's Achievement Award. The criteria was left open for each teacher to decide and could range from improvement in grades to best class participation to overall excellence in a course or any other criteria that the teacher chose to use. The following students are being honored with this award. The nominating teacher's name is listed on each certificate. Dequatia Brown, Shambria McClurkin, Rosie McCarter, Grayson Duncan, Emma Robichaud, Christina Cook, Bailey Wallace, Michaela Duncan, Taylor Canuck, Katherine Pike, Morgan Linder, Summer Freeman, Colin Clinton, Anne Marie Lardiari, Mia Kimbrell, Rachel Johnson, Jesse Ricks, Austin Turley, Brianna Inman, Cameron Cato, Jemiah Gilmore, Emily Knight, Arthur Angeles, Christopher Brooks, George Orr, Kirsten McFadden, Grayson Duncan, Henry Niehaus, Caleb Smith, Autumn Rice, Emily Wichard, Candy Aguilar, Stevie Reimer, Kimberly Childers, Kayla Lanier, Megan Pritchard, and Cheyenne Brakefield. Congratulations, students. The students we are recognizing with the next award are the seniors who earned an overall 4.2 GPA through seven semesters of their high school career. The following students are receiving the President's Academic Excellence Award. Aniston Abshire, Estefania Amescua Barrientos, Arthur Angeles, 
Haley Arnett, Abigail Arnold, Megan Ashley, Caitlin Aliff, William Benfield, Gunnar Black, William Boggs, Madison Bowen, Olivia Brady, Angela Brown, Brandon Burns, Cameron Capello, Karina Castro, Gabriel Cato, Lauren Childers, Jeremy Childers, Madison Chiltoski, Colin Clinton, Catherine Cofield, Jasmine Colting, Alexander Constantine, Hunter Cox, Coleman Cox, Olivia Davis, Grayson Duncan, Aaron Durflinger, Khalil Ellis, Eric Ellswick, Jessica Espinoza, Natalie Ferris, Mallory Ferris, Lauren Flowers, Kaylin Gabrinas, Crystal Gibson, Chloe Gibson, Miranda Goforth, Courtney Groves, Madeline Hagee, Bryson Hall, Jeremy Hammond, Zoe Harmer, Cassidy Hill, Hannah Horton, Joanna Howell, Caroline Huey, Shelby Hull, Brianna Inman, Anne Marie Lardieri, Ashley Lynn, Destiny Love, Aaliyah Love, Tamisha Lyon, Rosie McCarter, Kirsten McFadden, Jacob Marin, Paige Morose, Henry Niehaus, Faith Nyberg, Tabitha Ogden, Catherine Pike, Marianne Picole, Elena Preslar, Megan Pritchard, Aaliyah Reed, Peyton Real, Autumn Rice, Emma Robichaud, Charm Robinson, Jacob Rodriguez, Haley Rothier, Eric Romero, Esmeralda Rosales, Victoria Sanders, William Sayers, Maya Skuito, Elena Severs, Ashton Shannon, Sophie Smiley, Clara Smith, Victoria Smith, Caleb Smith, Sarah Spencer, Shelby Spencer, Kelly Tao, Jana Thompson, Malik Thorne, Austin Turley, Mackenzie Terrell, Zaria Wallace, Diavion Walls, Nakia White, Jackson Williams, Blakely Wisher, Diamond Worthy, and Caroline Ziegler. Congratulations, students. Ms. Johnson Davis will announce the award for Wendy's Heisman and Perfect Attendance. Each year, one senior male athlete and one senior female athlete from each high school in the country are recognized by Wendy's Corporation for excellence in athletics and academics. As YCHS nominees, their names are submitted for recognition in the Wendy's High School Heisman National Competition. Congratulations to Lauren Childers and William Boggs for recognition in the 2019-2020 National Competition. The following students are being recognized for having perfect attendance for the 2019-2020 school year. 
Congratulations goes to Ariane, Ariel, Mansara, Christian, Perch, Brianna, Inman, Eularia, Dye, Brandon, Burns, Jeffrey, Tremper, Kayla, Uten, Alexander, Constantine, William, Boggs, Aaliyah, Perkins, Carson, Isgut, Mark, Grinchenko, Zion, Collins, James, Hughes, Anthony, DeGraw, Valerie, Bowden, Trenton, Reif, Caitlin, Kimbrell, Shelby, Hall, and Braxton, Williams. It is a unique accomplishment to have a student with a 12-year perfect attendance record. State Superintendent Spearman states that to graduate without missing a single day of school demonstrates remarkable dedication. They showed incredible passion for their personal education. They are wonderful role models to emulate. Congratulations to William Boggs for this amazing achievement. He will also receive a letter and special certificate signed by our state superintendent. We will finally bring back our principal, Ryan Poston, to present our final awards for the evening. Each year, one student from our school is selected to receive the YCHS Citizenship Award. The recipient of the award is chosen based on service, leadership, responsibility, character, and discipline. For 2020, we have selected Pedro Sosa for this prestigious award and recognition. Congratulations, Pedro. The National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Kings Mountain Chapter in York, proudly presents two awards this year. This award is for good citizenship, medal and certificate that go to the senior girl who demonstrates the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. This year we have two recipients. Our DAR Citizenship Award winners are Gracelyn Neal and Catherine Pike. Congratulations Gracelyn and Catherine. <clears throat> This year, the Principal's Achievement Award go to six individuals who have committed themselves to academic excellence at YCHS. They have been successful without drawing attention to themselves, while at the same time inspiring their fellow classmates with the humble manner in which they carry themselves. These students succeed beyond expectations and continually made staff, students, and their families proud. Please congratulate Please join me in congratulating the following students. Kirsten McFadden, Colin Clinton, Brianna Inman, Jacob Rodriguez, Jeremiah King, and Gunnar Black. Congratulations, students. <clears throat> High school principals from across the country are able to nominate one of their student leaders for a national competition for the Principal's Leadership Award. This year, I've chosen Noelle Ogden at the York Comprehensive High School's nominee. Noelle is an excellent example of what a true student leader embodies and deserves to be commended on her excellence in the classroom and in our community. Congratulations, Noelle. The Principal's Inspiration Award is given to a high school senior that has demonstrated perseverance and has excelled despite the obstacles in their path. This year's Principal Inspiration Award goes to Bernetta Smith. Bernetta has dealt with more hardship than most do in a lifetime. Bernetta continues to carry herself with poise and grace. She has a cheery disposition and always has a smile on her face. Bernetta has persevered while maintaining good grades and displaying wonderful singing and acting talent in both the YCHS Chorus and Thespians. Bernetta's positive attitude and relentless spirit inspires me 
and I am proud to give her this honor this evening. Congratulations, Burnett, on being the 2020 Principal's Inspiration Award winner. The YCHS Hall of Fame is a, is a special designation reserved for those seniors who have gone above and beyond in service and dedication to the school. Some years, several students are named to this honor. Other years, there may be none who are worthy of this special recognition. From the class of 2020, we are proud to have nine honorees who are being entered into the YCHS Hall of Fame. This, year Hall, this year's Hall of Fame nominees are Ashton Shannon, Caroline Ziegler, Destiny Love, Shelby Spencer, William Boggs, Peyton Reel, Sarah Spencer, Lauren Childers, and Khalil Ellis. Congratulations to our YCHS Hall of Fame members. Our final award this evening goes to our Jostens Senior of the Year. If I were to describe the ideal high school senior, I would say they possess attributes such as intelligence, sense of humor, work ethic, and determination. They would be extremely involved, take a rigorous schedule, and be a student leader. They'd be strong yet kind, willing to step out of their comfort zone, and accepting of everyone. These qualities and more describe Will Boggs. Will is an excellent student, a three-sport athlete, and an officer in multiple clubs and organizations. This year, Will was selected as a Shrine Bowl participant and was also named the South Carolina State Offensive Lineman of the Year. He was also selected to the South Carolina High School League Leadership Council, where he served as a state representative. Two years ago, Will was selected to attend the South Carolina Governor's School of Math and Science. Will decided to attend the Governor's School virtually so that he could stay a student here at YCHS. Will has excelled inside the classroom as an athlete, as a leader, and as a community servant. Will has participated in multiple community service projects, included organi including organizing a campaign to purchase Christmas gift bags for children at the Shriners Hospital. And let's not downplay the fact that he's never missed a day of school. Will's extremely generous, kind. He is the model student and an even better person. Will, I'm extremely proud of you. Your work ethic and drive are going to serve you well when you attend Clemson in the fall. And the kindness and generosity that you show people will help you develop into a wonderful community leader. You are going to do great things. It is my honor to name the Jostens YCHS Senior of the Year, Will Boggs. Congratulations, Will. As I complete my second year as principal, I'd like to say it has been an absolute honor to serve you and your children. Your Conference High School is a special place filled with amazing people. I'm so proud to call this home. In closing, I'd like to thank all of our award sponsors. Thank you for supporting YCHS and our community. I'd like to thank all of our teachers and counselors for what you do each day to help our students. Thanks to Ms. Sandy Johnson for organizing tonight's award ceremony and to Mr. Tim Cooper for filming and broadcasting for us. Students, thank you for all, all of your hard work. Let's finish the next few weeks strong. Seniors, thank you for your leadership. You will always be special to me. Ms. Cox and school board members, I'd like to thank you for believing in our people. We are so blessed to have a group of public servants like you to champion public education in our community. Finally, parents, thank you for your support and for allowing us to work with your child. They are your most precious commodity and you entrust them to us each day. We do not take that lightly. Certificates and awards that were given tonight will be available for pickup at the underclassmen collection days for our 9th, 10th, and 11th graders and at graduation for our seniors. Please be safe, have a great evening, and as always, go Cougars. <laughs>